So we're going to paint a crab and you see this picture of this crab here. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just looking at his pretty legs. Look at the big, big orange craw, uh, claws. And then the legs, um, if you know a crab or have eaten a crab, the legs can be kind of flat, but there are some meat in the legs on, on all sides and the body, it's just um, the big claws have the most meat. They're very, very good. But crabs are really fun to watch as well, scurrying across the beach. I'm gonna close this one off. This is just a pose that you can, if you're interested in crabs, just do a little research. The reason why I pulled this picture up is because I wanted you to just look at the colors. Um, pink and blue and red and purple and yellow. So your crab, you can paint whatever colors you want. Here is another crab I wanted to point out you can have the pokey parts if you want. You don't need to, but notice the blue and it's like hinged right here. Here's his body. You can add the, the bumpy scales to it if you want. Um, but just notice that the legs, there are four sections, the, the claw part and then one, two, three. So if you're drawing, you might want to draw four sections. And I'm going to, um, of course, you can take it into the uh, lobster family, but here's our crab. We're going to start. We're going to start drawing this little guy. And notice the sections. This, The back section is kind of a flat, like a paddle. It, it looks like it claws, but it doesn't. It's a paddle. And there is a section here. There's um, to me, that looks like it has five. It has the one, two, three, four. And then there's a teeny little section that is where like the joint is. But I, whether you want to include it in your drawing or not, you don't, it's up to you. I have started drawing just the one claw because we're going to do a wet on wet to start. Then I'll give you some time to, to copy it. But just do a roughly, I'm going to draw a little darker so you can see it in my book. Uh, I'm using the, this clamp to hold my book down. And um, I want to welcome Laura and welcome Emily for being here. Happy to have you. Anybody else? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. Any questions? Um, basically for drawing. Now you can make the claws as thick or fat as you want. I'm going to draw it a little darker. I hope on your paper it's not this dark, but um, because the pencil lines can interfere, especially with a little project like this. This is adorable card. I made a set of cards and they people just went crazy for them. So you should make a set, make a different look online, look at all the different cards. Um, I'm just going to draw the top part because I have underneath the whole guy drawn and his eyes. What's so fun is you can make this guy as crazy as you want. You can make his eyes stand out and make them googly or or not they're really just attached to the the head and there is a little whisker you can put that in there if you want or you don't have to but let's just do a little wet on wet i'm going to just drop water inside the crab leg and the pokey part where the crab claw is and each section if you draw light with your pencil then you won't see the sections and you can just Put your water in the sections and then i'm just gonna put a little water here on top and i'm gonna slow down just a minute to give you a minute to catch up if you're not watching live no worries go ahead and and paint along with and um just set put a picture in the comments so i know you're there i'd love to hear you hear what you have to say anything you want me to um, paint or post i'm happy to hear what you your input so i kind of hesitated for a minute i'm going to slow down just a bit if i'm going too fast and i'm letting the water soak into the paper so we remember this is a 140 pound book and it is a just watercolor book it's five by eight it's a small one 140 pounds with 100 sheets in there so i'm 
I'll be using both both um, sides. So I paint on this one. Uh, let's write the date. I wrote crab. I'm going to write 3, 28, 23. I like when you put the date on because then you can look back and when we started this and you can see all the um, growth that you've made. So I'm writing when and what. When there's my crab there. I'm going to put him on a card as well. But I'm writing wet on wet, and we're going to just practice with this first little crab. So you can paint him all orange here if you'd like. What I noticed that is look at the highlight here in the center and the highlight on some of the pinchers. You may want to put the color down and then pick it out with your paper towel. Uh, so well, let's let's paint this first little sample kind of a red orange. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm dropping the color in and tapping it with my brush. Tap, tap, tap. Just tapping it along. Uh, his pinchers are, they're all the same color too. I'm going to play with the next one. I'm going to draw a whole one. But for this one, just go ahead and do your little pinchers. Paint your little pinchers. This is a partial claw. Whenever I paint, I like to do it twice. I'll have a, the, um, plan to either have two going at the same time or that I'm going to paint it again. So today I'm going to paint it again, but I'm going to uh, play with colors. So this one, we're just going to paint with the actual red color that it is. It's kind of a red orange. So now I'm going to grab some orange and drop that into the red and see what happens. See how it moves a little bit. This technique is stippling just kind of dabbing it on and dragging a little bit. So in my beginner your basic class, we talk about pushing and pulling. So this might be familiar to you. If you're interested or want to know more, um, sign up online. I have, or I'll, below I'll put a link here. If you want to uh, have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call, just sign up for the coaching call. Don't forget to use your spray bottle to get all your paints wet. All right, I'm letting that soak in again, and I'm going to those highlight colors that I talked about at the beginning. I'm going to just pick it up with the paper towel. Just take the, fold the paper towel a little bit like this, take the edge, and just tap it where you see that highlight and see how it just picks up that color. And go ahead and tap it here on one of the legs and then on the other leg and then on the claw. And that's a nice way to get some highlight. Okay, so take a minute, take a look, see how you like that. And you can see I painted this small, I drew this small one. I wanted to pay attention that when you draw, he has four sections. So when you're drawing, you wanna make sure you have four section, sections. And I don't know if you're, if I'm going too fast, let me know, I'll slow down just a bit. Take a minute to um, draw it again. I cheated because I drew it ahead of time. So no worries. Just take a minute. Put your uh, sections in. I would like to draw him bigger. So I'll take another this card over here and draw him bigger. And I'm just drawing the body, what I see. I'm going to just lightly sketch it because I don't want the pencil lines. Hopefully yours looks different than mine, that you're seeing it a little differently and you're able, you feel free to add what you want to add. That's what's fun about drawing and being an artist. It's learning to see and then add what you want to add. And he has three long skinny legs and then, so four sections, but they're kind of skinny. You can make them as fat as you want. One, two, three, four. 
I see that end section is a little bit, uh, a little bit pointy. So I'm going to grab my eraser and point this one out a little. I chose this one because it, it's similar to paint to draw. Each leg is similar, so you're not reinventing learning something new on each one. One, two, three, and then I'm going to make a nice little point. And this one, every time I look up, I see something different, a little section different. But this is time for you to just have some fun. We're going to play with color. He's got like fingernails, doesn't he? Little pointy claws. Have you ever picked up a crab? Has anybody ever picked up one? Let me know. <laughs> Tell me about your experience with picking it up. I think I'm afraid to. But I do think there's a way to pick them up. Anybody know how? Write it in the comments. Let us know. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pinch that one so it's ready I can paint this one so I'm gonna know that you can come back and draw anytime this will be posted on um, YouTube art yourself studio so you can add it to YouTube let's play with this second one I have two going one over here and one over here I'm gonna move my paintbrush dock up above so that you can see both you don't have to draw it you can just paint it along with me you can just paint it too drawing just gives me a little guideline so let's get the let's do the body first let's get the body wet and laura and um, emily are you with me or have i lost you do i need to slow down a little bit no i'm with you okay em are you em? there are you there i'm just making one that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Make one. Have fun with it. And you are an artist, so you 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 can paint whatever your little heart desires. <laughs> okay, so I want to have fun. I want to play with different colors. So I'm going to, I like that orange, but I'm going to put a little green in his body. I'm going to put a little green in this one, just plain. And I'm going to take, we, we know that the Maryland crabs are blue. So I'm going to get a little blue in there, just tapping it in. That tap, 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 let it bleed out because I did the wet on wet. And I do want to put some of that orange. If I rub them over each other, be careful because they will get muddy and we don't want a muddy crab. So I'm just tapping the colors next to each other. And there you go. There's just a nice fun, drag that water around a little bit. All right, so on his legs, you can paint directly your wet brush on dry. What I'm doing is when I'm doing that, I get a little more control on where the paint goes. And watercolor you can do it either way that's why we like using watercolor because you can do this or you can paint wet and wet so have fun with it i just placed the colors in on my main crab and i'm just going to place this i didn't do colors i did the orange i'm going to place that orange in on the main claws and then i'm going to grab some water and i'm using um a six brush because my painting's my drawing small. So I go with the smaller brush. But I'm going to grab some water now and tap it next to that paint that I put in and drag it. I'm going to drag. So there's a push and pull. I'm going to pull that paint to fill in my little space of his claw. Remember, these will dry lighter. So if I, it does not look dark enough, just add a little color, just add a little more. It's your little crab. Have fun with him. All 
I hope I encourage you to watch it again if you got a little lost when I did just the half part up here at the beginning. I just wanted to have some, uh, some time to play. Oh, I wanted to have two. Okay. Now you can see how when I get this wet, how that color just moves with my brush to fill in the cloth. And I think this is a great project if you live along the coast because you will see these crabs more often than we do here in Michigan. <laughs> do we have crabs in Michigan? I don't know. <laughs> do we? I think we have little ones, but not like ones you'd serve at a nice restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> what about the soft shell crabs that you can eat the whole crab? I've never had one. All right, now on his legs, because I want to play with color, I'm going to make his legs a different color each. I just added purple. He's kind of little, so it's hard to see. So I'm going to go back up to this, this bigger one. And just, I want to add purple in there. Why not? Why can't my crab have purple legs? And you can apply the same painting technique to lobsters if you wanted to paint a lobster. So I'm noticing my number six brush is fat and it's, I'm, it's really big for these two paintings. They're so small. I can go down a size or I just tilt my brush straight up and down and just use the tip to move the water around. kind of outlining each section with this purple on this one leg. I'm going to do another leg. It's going to be a rainbow crab, maybe. His legs are going to be yellow. I'm putting a little bit of a pasty consistency, maybe more cream, just to drop in that yellow. The bigger your crab, the more fun you can have with different colors. So Emily, did you paint yours orange? Or can you add some color to it? Some color to it. No, I'm doing, um, I'm adding the blue to it and a little bit of purple as like a, a shadow. Ooh. On this, on, just on the sides. And I'm not connecting the different um, segments of the legs. I'm, I'm just sort of keeping them more abstract as shapes. Oh, I love oh, that. I love that. Lover. Lover. Now we don't want to use black because then the black will just stand out. So I am just going to come in with his eyes and grab a, a really pretty blue or you can use a paints gray and I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, the red that I used and just put the dots in for his eyes. You can you can really go crazy and make googly eyes. You can you can be do whatever you would like with yours. I just put my dark color, just having fun. This is a short, short and sweet little activity, but definitely take your time and do, do it again. Figure out different ways you can paint him. This one is almost perfectly dry. So if you have that black marker we used on one of our projects, or if you have a, just digging it out of my drawer here, a 9B. One of my favorite artists uses a 9B pencil and she just outlines. So while these two are drying, I'm just going to show you how I outline. You keep painting. 
peek up and check in any every once in a while but i'm going to outline him with this 9b pencil i have the pencil line already there so this to me kind of accentuates my pencil my pencil line that i already have and i'm not worried about that pencil showing because it's part of my design and i'm not outlining it perfectly I'm, I'm wanting it to be big and to show it's called illustrating i'm actually illustrating this guy oh and i see i didn't do his eyes but let me make them bigger let's have a little fun with him and the key is because he's dry Now I'm going to grab, just looking at my paintings, just giving you some ideas. Keep painting. Don't stop what you're doing. If you want to paint them again, let's just play. I'm going to grab a, uh, another color that, back to this yellow, and I'm going to try to really outline the legs. Yellow is not going to co cover pencil line. I don't know, just kind of playing. You could have done a underpainting and done yellow first. That's one way to do it. This one's not quite dry, and I really would like rich, more color in that claw. So I'm just going to dig in and get more paint and just drop it in, let it move. If it's not wet, just get it, re wet it, and drop that paint in. I'm leaving the body alone. I like how I got the different colors moving on there. Um, the other thing is, I like to take that. One of the colors, let's say, I don't know, maybe down here with this orange, drop some water where it's connected to the orange and here the yellow for one of the legs and just put water in there and just spread, pull it out. See how that, that orange and yellow are pulling out and kind of pushing in a little background. Add a little color to get it to move a little more for you. Just play. And I love this idea of the blue. So I'm going to put some blue up here for the background just to touch it against that orange. Just to get play. I might not do it on this one. Maybe I like it on this one. I like how that or you can pull out a color. What happens if I splatter? What happens? Oh, I get a little bit of fun splatter marks. I used purple in there, but now I don't really see it. So let me put some purple splat marks. But I'm trying not to make it look polka dots. So I'm getting those ladder marks a little wet here here's some some I'm leaving but others I'll get some water and just pull them out and use them as the background again you don't have to put a background just if you want if it bleeds out go ahead and grab your paper towel and just soup it up aren't they cute I can't wait to see what you guys have done <laughs> Who would have thought a crab would be such a cute project? All right, here we go. I'm going to play in here. I love turquoise blue, and I think yellow and turquoise blue are pretty together. So there's some white spaces on my legs here, and I'm just adding some turquoise blue to it on this other one. Just to see. I might do some splatters. Give me some excitement here.
Remember to download your pictures and uh, your favorite ones that you things you want to paint. Make a folder for them on your computer so that you can go back to them and paint them. I have a folder for animals and then I have a fo the folders for underwater animals. I put him underwater because I think of him as a as a in by the sea. You could make it by sea by the sea folder. I don't think I did underwater, just water. I'm just chitty chatting now. So I've got the splatters. I'm going to take some water and tap in those splatters and let them bleed out a little bit. For this back part. Sometimes you just have to let it dry. Pick it up, got water on there, pick it up and move it around. Oops, it touched in the leg and the leg splashed out. Look how cool that is. It's okay. I do like to just do part of it with the background. You can do the whole thing if you want. But I think sometimes it's just exciting to leave the background to your imagination as well. Every painting doesn't have to have a full background, I think, I believe. This one's pooling up, so I'm letting it just drip on the other one. One of the questions for the Ask Virginia was when to stop. When do you, how do you know when to stop? And honestly, you stop when you don't want to play anymore and you think you've got it all. You think you've added everything to it that you wanted to express. I always like to stop and take a break and then come back and if I feel like it needs more, then I can. you can always add more. Emily, have you stopped? Would you like to show us yours? I can wait until everyone else is ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> Class is almost over though. So, all right, I'll show you. Perfect, perfect. Oopsie. Oh, he doesn't look very clear. Hold him back, Hold closer, him back to your closer to your face. face. You know why you know I have my face? Because, because you have the, you background. Have the background blurry. Oh, blurry. blurred. All right, oh. let me take that off. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to choose a background. I'll just get rid of it. Okay. Okay. Close that. Oh, I still have blurry background. You can put, you it, can put it close to your face. Close to your face. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> My Laura, computer's active. Laura. Oh, let me see, Laura. <gasps> wow. There's this one. And there's this one. Oh. Just fun. Okay, I'm on blurry. Yes. Here's yes. mine. I like him. I love him. I love him. He's sort of fun trying to pick up some accents on his body and yet other places just let it float into the background so it's not so hard and fast so really well really done. well done. it's fun if you could if take you could take a picture and put and it put it into into the comment the comment then everybody and everybody can later later um, my phone's not up here. Okay. Okay. You can do it later. Do it anytime. Later. Anytime. Okay. Thank you for joining. Thank us. you for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So we will so see. So you. we will. I'm gonna mute you, M. For just. I hope. Okay. We will see you. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll have another surprise for us for next week. We talked about something today. Let me think, Emily. We talked about. Okay, we will see you as for us for next week. For next week, we talk. What did we talk about? What did we talk about? Aurora Borealis. Yes. Yes. Oh.
Yes. So you notice I, I had posted, Emily noticed I had posted some Aurora Borealis. We were up north last, uh, this weekend and apparently oh. the okay. colors were beautiful. So uh, I, a, a woman that we follow uh, is in Canada and they were fabulous. So check my uh, feed and you'll see some a beautiful Aurora Borealis. And let's just attempt to learn that next week at two o'clock. Show, show up two o'clock Tuesday live. We'll paint some Aurora Borealis. <laughs> thank you, Laura. And thank you, Emily. Thank you. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Thanks for being here.